Hello and welcome to my eBay listing. This is um, a launch Diagon X431 diagnostic computer. Right, if you look at the boxes, we have the yellow box and red box. The yellow box contains all the adapters and leads for pre-1996 vehicles. When you're doing 1997 vehicles or newer, 1997 onwards, you'll need the red box. And the reason you need the only the red box is because most 1997 onwards vehicles have what they call an o OBD connector. Now if you just look over here, this is the Renault, uh, Renault Scenic 2005 model. So if I remove a cover plate, you'll see there's the uh, connector. These connectors are always in uh, vehicles beyond 1997. Various locations, though, you might find them in uh, behind the ashtray, uh, underneath the steering wheel, but they're always within about three foot of the steering wheel. Right, All right let's just have a look at this. And there's the red box. The only items we'll need from this box are the Bluetooth transmitter and the computer receiver. I'll put that down there. Now, what I do, this connects, this is the transmitter, transmits data to this. Uh, range is about 30 meters, about 100 feet, but we're going to use it in the car. You can use a hard wire standard type connection with just lots of wires if you want to, but we're going to use Bluetooth today. This will go into the connector. There it goes. We get a click and you'll start flashing blue, just showing its uh, receiving power. Uh, there's a little stylus in here which I'll pull out because it's a touch screen. I've got a bit of a tear off strip on this so it's not showing uh, as clear on the film as, uh, as I'd like but I can see it perfectly. I just want to leave it on to protect this screen because it's brand new. Um, I'll just show you the fault on this particular vehicle. If you look at the dash, I'll, um, I'll start the engine. Oh, all the lights go out, but there's a service amber service light on, and that's because we have uh, there's check fuel filters. So we've got the check fuel filter, service amber light on. So what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to uh, clear that fault. Okay, so I'll switch, switch the ignition, uh, switch the engine off, but I'm going to leave the ignition on. Now with a Renault, you have to put the card back in, and you have to hold the button for a moment until you get a little bit of a click. Yeah, you can see. We've got a fan on. There we are. So the ignition's on. Now then, if I switch this on, little button at the top, hold it down like a mobile phone until it uh, switches itself on. It t it takes uh, a few moments to um, power up, like a computer does. So we'll give it a few moments. Now, if we were inside um, the, in the workshop, we can have a cup of tea while we're while we're waiting. But anyway, a screen uh, looks very similar to uh, the standard PC screen of a laptop. Anyway, Bluetooth. So I'm going to highlight Bluetooth. If I wanted to highlight cable, we were doing a cable, then I'd just use that. But anyway, double press that, and up come the various manufacturers. Now, it's 12 per page: Renault, uh, Land Rover, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Toyota, etc. Also an OBD generic. But let's have a look. There's um, 12 on that page, 24 next page, 36 next page, 48 next page, 60 next page, and an extra one, the VW one there. So um, it's uh, 61 minus one because one's an OBD generic, so it's 60 manufacturers. Anyway, let's just try and find. Um, let's just try and find. If I can, there we are. Click it. Renault. There's Renault. Highlight Renault. OK. Version 38.0, which is about June 2010, the latest version. Highlight that, press OK. Now it's analysing data from the car. So give it a few moments. You might hear, hear various clicking. Maybe in a second. Once it uh, analyses it, it'll, it'll then invite you to select um, the model of the car. Now it's inviting you to select is it is it Modus, Clio, Clio 2 or Clio 3. Uh, it's not one of them, it's a, this is a Renault Scenic, isn't it? So next page, Megan 2, Laguna? No, it's a Scenic 2. So I'll highlight Scenic 2 and there it comes up with injection, air conditioning, automatic ABS, AB, airbag pretensioners, parking brake, variable PAS, instrument panel, etc, etc. I'm going to select inj injection because um, it's going to be around that area of the fault. Press that. You hear a bit of a click as it uh, goes into the system. 
and it reads the data. Uh, comes up with uh, the various codes for the injectors, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'll press OK. And then computer identification, read fault, clear fault, read data stream, actuators, and specific commands. I'll read um, read fault code. Let's have a look at the fault codes. Yeah, there's a fault code. It's reading, it's showing DF057, which if you look at um, the Renault fault code list, it, it's a, and it actually says water in diesel detection circuit, and it's, and it's showing it's an active fault. All right, so let's return and go clear fault, and then it says ignition on an engine stop. Do you want to erase? Yes, I do. OK. And it says fault memory erased. OK. Now if I go back to read fault again, no fault code found. So there we are, the fault's gone. And if I then just come out of it, return, 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 quit, return, back to the main page. I can now switch this off, so I'll just switch it off again the same way. Put the stylus back in. Switch the ignition off. Okay, and I'll pull the little transmitter out. And if you look at the dash now, I'll restart the engine, and hopefully the code fault has gone. So the service light was on before, now it's off. There we are. That's it. All done. Okay, I'll switch it off. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching.